the practice of silence is one of the most powerful and important spiritual practices. Regardless of what your ultimate spiritual goal may be, practicing silence will help you get there very powerfully. We practice silence for so many reasons, but let me give you just a few. First of all, silence is not empty. It is full. It's full of the inner voice, full of that divine voice. So when we silence our mouths and silence the conversation around us, we're actually able to hear the voice within us. As our mouths become silent, as the ears then start to become silent, because obviously if we're not speaking to people, they stop speaking to us. We have silence in the outer world so that we can hear the inner voice within. The other reason that we practice silence is that it enables us to realize the power that we have over when to speak. Most of us just speak whatever we want to say, whenever we want to say it, and then later we realize the consequences. So many times we say things that we realize, oh my God, I should not have said that. When we practice silence, it teaches us and trains us in the mind to grab that space between a thought and a word. It allows us to realize, ah, I have a choice. Just because I've had a thought doesn't mean I actually have to speak. In that experience and practice of silence, we learn the habit of not speaking what comes to our mind. So that even when we stop having the practice of silence, so if I observe silence, let's say, for a day. Well, after my silence is over, the impact is still with me. Or if I observe silence a few hours every day, even when I open my silence, the impact is there. And I no longer find myself saying things that I later regret. And the third reason is very simple. It's a discipline. And when we discipline ourselves, it trains us that we are not slaves to our mind. Most of us do whatever an impulse in the mind says. Impulse says eat, we eat. Impulse says sleep, we sleep. Impulse says speak, we speak. But having what is called a vrat, whether it is a vrat of not eating, a vrat of not speaking, these are spiritual practices. And that discipline, that vow, trains the mind to realize, ah, I am not the slave. Just because there's a thought doesn't mean I have to eat, sleep, speak. I actually have control. So the third reason is that discipline that teaches us that we are the masters, not the slaves of the thoughts in our mind. So I encourage you all, practice silence, whether it's a day a week, a few hours a day, or even an hour a day. Just make sure it's not during the time that you're already asleep. That doesn't count. Any other time in the day, practice it. You'll see how it transforms you.